so after the configuration have been done so network address have been placed for the reference now in this scenario we have to come up with such solution that devices on one lan are allowed to remotely access devices on another lan using only ssh protocol beside icmp all the other traffic from other network has to be get denied so what we'll do here the ssh devices like ssh traffic from devices from this network okay i'll just draw a circle here for the reference like from this network okay so ssh traffic from devices here on this network is allowed to devices on this network okay so this is what we have to achieve here the ip address i have mentioned wrong just a sec let me correct it so here the network address is 32 okay yeah so this is what we want to achieve so ssh traffic from this network will be allowed to access the devices on this network through ssh only and other traffic will be blocked okay and icmp traffic is allowed from any source to any destination means you will be able to ping from one machine to another machine okay and all the other traffic to this network will be get blocked icmp will be allowed this network be also allowed to access this network through ssh only and all the other traffic will get blocked this is what we want to achieve here okay and also after configuring we'll also verify so let me just do the routing part first so let me go to this router okay go to rip routing information protocol and just mention all the addresses this router is connected to so this router is connected to this address first so just mention 10.101.117.0 click on add then similarly 10.101.117.0 117.48 and one more it is there the one 10.101.117.32 click on add okay of course you will not be able to see the network addresses okay there is something different uh, explanation is there but it will take a huge amount of time to me for like explaining that part but if you close this if you click on if you place the mouse on the router of course you will be able to see all the three network addresses which are up okay which are up and even for the switches also so you will see the vlan entry in the last if you see carefully have a look for every switch we have configured and it is up okay great so now let me start with the practical so now we have to configure the extended acl here so let me start with the practical here so let me fire the command only single command is here so let's go to the router go to cli get yourself into configuration mode now let's see what we can do here so we are making list access list here so access hyphen list only single hyphen we want here this 199 that's the rule you can set one like 199 is the number for the extended access list then we are permitting permit tcp okay from where like you're permitting what like tcp messages or packets you're permitting from where like you have to enter the source address so source address you can see here on the left hand side i'm pointing out like this 32 so let's write down that network address for it like 
101.117.32 okay and then write the wildcard mass for it so basically if you remember okay in the slide we have also mentioned the network mass for every particular network and you all know how to calculate the wildcard mass that's the opposite of the network mass okay if all the bits the wherever the bits are one you have to make it zero and wherever the zip bits are zero make it one so basically for this here in the scenario for this network the 28 bit are set for network id and four bits are left for the host id so in that case if you calculate the network mass is 255.255.255.240 so wildcard wildcard mass will become 0.0.0.50 okay so this is done for the source address so we are permitting tcp traffic from this source and we have to permit this traffic towards this traffic okay towards this network sorry so now we have to mention the destination okay destination network address so that is 10.101.117.0 and accordingly the network mass the wildcard mass of it that this i guess 224 in the last so it will become 0.0.0.31 then eq equal to 22 this 22 is a port number for ssh traffic so we are specifically mentioning it here like we only want to allow ssh traffic from this network to that network from source like from this source to this destination only ssh so 22 is specifically for ssh traffic okay port number it is and if you don't mention this then all the tcp traffic will be allowed of course ssh also use tcp protocol only to send the messages so we are restricting it here now click enter okay after that you have to apply one more rule here in this access hyphen list the second requirement was that we have to allow all the icmp traffic from any source to any destination so in that case this will become access list 199 permit any and any that means any source to any destination we are setting this configuration or rule here on this router okay and then click enter so here we are getting some error here access list 199 permit ice okay sorry i just forgot to mention one more thing here which protocol traffic that is icmp okay so access list 199 permitting icmp traffic any from any source to any destination and then click enter now you have to apply this access list group okay to the interface okay so which interface will we we would prefer of course uh, we would prefer this interface Th this is gigabit 0 slash 2 because we are restricting this zone okay we will not apply here or here because we are trying to uh, want to access like have access from this network to this network through ssh traffic only so rule has to be set here so we'll set the rule on gigabit 0 slash 2 interface so let me go back here okay now we are, I have to come to the interface like this int interface g 0 slash 2 and then i'll just apply that ip access hyphen group 199 the list we have made like we have made out bond okay then click enter so now this part of the practical is done so now we have to verify okay so we'll verify so what we have to verify have a look here will verify one by one so we'll see we are trying to ping from pcb to all the other ip addresses in the network if the pings are unsuccessful 
unsuccessful verify the ip addresses before continuing okay so we'll see from pcb okay so let me go to cisco packet tracer okay from pcb i'll try to ping okay uh this pc and this switch you all can try all the switches also or all the devices also but in this video i'll just uh ping try to ping this pc a so i'm trying to ping pc a and the ip address was for pc a was because here i remember this was 48 so router got 49 this was 50 and the pc a was 51 so let me ping 10.101.117.1 so I'm trying to ping from PCB to PCA. Let's see if we get the reply. Because ICMP traffic was allowed. Okay. And we can see we are getting the reply successfully here. Okay. And even from PCB, we'll try to ping SWC on this another network. Okay. So the IP address for this switch was given like the network address was zero. So one was given to the router, two was given to this switch. So let me try to ping now this time that switch so let me click enter okay we are getting the reply okay if we, we try once more you all can see we are getting the reply for all the four packets okay fine so the first thing is done now we have to see that from like SSH from the PCB to SWC that means it should allow okay from PCB we want to connect to switch number C on the right hand side from one network to another network via SSH so let me try this command go to Cisco packet tracer okay we have got here PCB okay and let me fire the command like SSH we are trying to log in through SSH hyphen L stand for login and you have to mention the username admin one i have actually set the username constant in all the switches okay while configuring it so no need to remember even if you want to change you can change like for switch a it can be admin one for switch b it can be admin two and similarly for switch c it can be admin three so i'm trying to log in through admin one okay the ip address was for that switch on the another network from pcb i'm trying to connect to this switch c so the IP address was 10.101.117.2. Enter and it is asking me for the password. Cisco one was the password set and you all can see I'm in. I'm able to see the switch. Okay. Even I can configure it from here. Okay. So now coming back, the second part is done. Now exit the SSH session to SWC. We are done okay now let's try from ping from pca to all the other ip addresses okay coming back here close this okay now let me try from pca let me try to ping the machines like from pca to pcb and to the switch okay see so i'm writing the ping command here and mentioning the IP address of PCB. So what was the IP address of PCB was uh, it was 32 the network address 33 was taken by the router 34 was taken by the switch 35 for the PCB. Okay, so 10.101.117.35 right or 34 sorry 32 33 34 35 35 is proper. Yeah, enter. And we are getting the reply okay even if we try to ping from here to the switch on the another network like this switch swc from pca we should get the reply yeah we are getting the reply okay so that thing is also verified now and the last thing we have to verify that the ssh from pca to swc the access list causes the router to reject the connection because as we saw okay and as the question was proposed that it should not allow us like only it should allow only this network to connect to this switch via SSH not this network so let's see if we get the error so coming back to PCA and let me try to log in now SSH 
hyphen l hyphen l 10 point 117 point sorry 101 point 117 point 2 so I'm from uh, so I've just forgot to mention the username admin one yeah so I'm trying to log in from PC A to now switch C okay let's see if it allows if I click enter it is taking time and it is not asking for the password so connection timeout remote host not responding because it was not allowed so only from this network it was allowed to access switch C okay even if we try to access like from PCA to switch A it will be allowed because the list the access control list what we have built it okay we have set it here on this particular interface which is gigabit 0 2 so this particular interface or this area will remain unaffected that means if we try to access from PCA to switch A or PCA to switch B it will allow us let me try like from PCA to switch A so let me fire the same command and this time I'll just mention the IP address of this switch now switch A so which was like 48 was the network address so 49 was taken by the router 50 50 was for the switch so let me just change from 50 and it is asking for the password now so I'm from PCA I'll be able to access switch A also and switch B also you can try that was that's it from this practical That's all guys from this video. If you really like this video, press like button and do subscribe to our channel. If any queries or suggestions, do comment below. For more such updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.